Welcome to today's Pastor's Perspective. I'm Ken Gray and I serve here at Calvary Life Family Worship Center in Cheshire, Connecticut. And today our devotion is going to be in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 13. Now Saul has been uh, appointed by Samuel as the king and he had some success in military endeavors, but he failed to obey the prophetic word of God to wait on Samuel for the sacrifice. As a consequence of this, we read in verse 15 in chapter 13, Then Samuel arose and went up from Gilgal to Gibeah of Benjamin. And Saul numbered the people who were present with him, about 600 men. Now Saul and his son Jonathan and the people who were present with them were staying in Gibeah of Benjamin while the Philistines camped at Michmash. Now Saul was fearful of losing control of the people. He had 2,000 people originally, 1,000 with uh, his son Jonathan. But when he saw that the people were rising against him, he called for all of Israel. But now as he disobeys God, he's yet at worse odds than he was before. He's now numbering only 600 people, but men between him and Jonathan. They come down to this place where all of the thousands of the armies of the Philistines are splitting up around them and they are, it is not looking good at all. And we have this observation in verse 19. Now no blacksmith could be found in all the land of Israel. For the Philistines said, otherwise the Hebrews will make swords and spears. So all Israel went down to the Philistines, each to sharpen his plowshare, his mattock, his axe, and his hoe. The charge was two-thirds of a shekel for the plowshares, the mattocks, the forks, and the axes, and to fix the hoes. So it came about on the day of the battle that neither sword nor spear was found in the hands of any of the people who were with Saul and Jonathan. But they were found with Saul and his son Jonathan. And the garrison of the Philistines went out to the pass of Michmash. One of the things that's really sad here is that Israel had not only become dependent on their enemies to be able to have weapons, but they had to be dependent on their enemies for their very tools of farming. And so as a consequence, their provision and their protection was now in the hands of their enemies. This is not a very good place to be. And so they are narrowed down to having few in number compared to the Philistines, and now they have no weapons except for Saul, the king, and his son Jonathan. But that does not matter to God. We can learn from this that it's not the numbers of peoples that we have, nor the equipment that we have, it is, the issue is really, are we walking in alignment and obedience to God? So we sometimes can find ourselves in a very, predict, uh, very unpredictable situation where it seems like we could not have victory. But we'll see in the next lesson that they will have victory. But the problem is we don't want to ever find ourselves where we are in a place of dependence on the enemy for our provision and for our protection. So many times we as the Church of Jesus Christ today are looking to government. We're looking to other things other than God. But when we do that, we end up putting ourselves in a place of dependency upon something other than God, which makes us highly vulnerable to our enemies. I don't want to be in that place, and I pray that you don't want to be in that place either. But when we are in that place, as occasion, occasionally that will be the case, we want to be able to be dependent on God. So let's pray about this situation here. Heavenly Father, we see ourselves sometimes depending way too much upon our employer, sometimes upon the government, and we pray, Father, that we will not find ourselves in a place where we're looking to those things for our provision or our protection. We ask you, Lord, that you would just come and help us today. Open our eyes that our true source of protection our true source of provision is not in the government, it's not in our employer, it's not in our community, it's in our God. Lord, we pray that we would come to you continuously to find the source of our provision and protection in you. Lord, help us today to realize a so important factor that we need to depend upon you and depend upon you alone. 
and be willing to be obedient in every respect. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, God bless you and thank you for listening to today's Pastor's Perspective. We look forward to being with you again as we continue to see what happens here in the book of Samuel in regards to this warfare with the Philistines. Have a great weekend.